allowing the sound to be received by our ears as we come to take this particular moment time. Just breathing in and out the nose. I don't want you to change anything about your breath yet. Yeah, so everything went online and we felt like we needed to move into action uh, just because it was really the right thing to do. Um, we had to give people options. We needed to give people an outlet um, because this is such an uncertain time. And we know in our line of work that that triggers anxieties and stresses. And we need to give people a way to work through that. In breath, <clears throat> you'll feel the sensation of the hand going up to the top of the thumb. And then the exhale down to the base of the thumb. Um, I was trying to do an outdoor yoga class yesterday and you know I've got a two-year-old who's like hanging on me um, but that's the part we are we're fighting through this and it looks a little different and that's okay and one of the best pieces of <laughs> one of the the best phrases that has come out um, that fits so perfect to this time is awesome not perfect that President Rowe said and that's what we keep expressing to our staff and that's what we keep expressing to our patrons who are participating in these works we are not aiming for perfection in this we are just aiming to connect and then you're just going to match up the sensation of the breath with the experience of feeling the sensation tracing your hand all the way back and forth so Maybe the length of your inhales feels a lot longer than the length of your exhales. Maybe the opposite is true. So you think about scooping that tailbone back, scooping in your belly button. Keep your low back on the ground. Halfway. 